All right, here's the Equinox LT uh, at Buster Miles, of course. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'll brush over the features that are gonna be similar to the Premier, um, and I'll try to point out the differences that I can if I notice them. Um, so first things first, back up here in the front, uh, you're gonna have, still have fog lights, still have the parking sensors going around, those little circles right there. Uh, they will detect whenever there is something in front of you and beep and let you know. This one goes a step further. Uh, I'll get into that here in just a minute. Um, also, you're still gonna have your sensor right there in the windshield. So you'll still have uh, your automatic high beams where they brighten and lower by themselves, um, as well as the lane departure alert and things like that. Um, you will have the blind spot monitor right here on the side mirror, if you can see that. Uh, both sides, of course. Uh, this one is going to be a cloth interior. Um, it's a comfortable cloth, though. Uh, it still has a nice look to it, um, in my opinion. Of course, power seats and everything. Uh, no memory seats. That's only on the Premier. It's not going to be on the LT. Um, let's see here. All right, so in here, uh, once we get inside, you will still have heated seats in the front on both sides and then your heated steering wheel as well um, also safety feature wise you're still going to have the adaptive cruise control the pre-collision system uh, the lane departure alert as well on it uh, the bluetooth your phone where you can uh, link it to the infotainment system and uh, talk through the speaker in the vehicle uh, this vehicle is going to have 25 miles on it right now cut the music off uh, now over here something a little different it does have integrated navigation the premiere doesn't um, so this one will have your navigation over there also uh, Android Auto Apple CarPlay Wi-Fi all that good stuff um, but you will also have uh, this so this is going out the front of the vehicle you see the blue truck right here and right there um, so if you're pulling up to something, it, you'll be able to see it. That is actually over, um, put it in reverse now. That is at, on the left side. This is actually over the vehicle. So as I cut the wheel, it kind of shows you like where your wheels are going. The wheels, the lines turn. I'll try to see them moving. It's me turning the steering wheel. So you know exactly where, where I'm going. Um, Pretty neat stuff, definitely really neat. Uh, nice little safety feature for sure. Um, that's gonna be one of the main differences on this one is gonna be that navigation and this camera right here. Those are gonna be the two biggest things as far as change goes. Um, this one, you will lose that wireless charging pad, so you won't be able to wirelessly charge your phone, uh, but you do have all your plugins, your C charger, your USB charging port, auxiliary port, and of course your 12 volt still have your parking sensors electronic parking brake and then you've got a couple charging ports in here and that's on both of them i don't think i lifted the last one um you don't have home link so no more garage door opener in the lt that's only going to be in the premier um so so far in the front what we've got no wireless charging pad no memory seats no garage door opener Everything else, and no leather, of course. Um, you know, everything else is going to be the same on it. Of course, no roof rails either. It kind of gives you a little more clean design. Uh, where that one's going to have the chrome, that little, a little more kind of sporty look. Uh, MSRP on this one is going to be thirty-one four seventy-five. Uh, like I said, it does have the where's it at here? Advanced safety package right there. So it does have um, quite a few things on it as well, remote start and all that stuff. Both of them will have that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. I do have both of them available. The Premier does have an appointment on it tomorrow, so I'm not 100% sure if we're still going to have it uh, after uh, tomorrow. Um, but definitely just reach out, call, text, whatever. I'm, I'm pretty available um, most of the time. Thank you. God bless.